It's transformed the speed to get through the city's congested bridges and tunnels. But now commuters are complaining cashless tolls have caused them countless problems. The billing disasters, the fines. A fortune in fines, says Rockaway Very Beach active. resident Sarah Kenny. I've never had a problem with the Easy Pass system, and in the last three months, we've paid over $450 in fines, not tolls, fines. When technology took over at the toll booths, the Easy Pass system stopped recognizing her credit card on file. Suddenly, she was hit with hundreds of dollars in violations for not paying the $2.16 toll at the Cross Bay Bridge. I mean, it's ridiculous. Since cashless tolling was sold to us as being a, a, a benefit or or a betterment for us, it's really not been that way. Since cashless tolling took effect, those surprise fines have been piling up on unsuspecting drivers like never before. All told, how much did they say you owed at one point? $2,200. It's amazing. Tom Riley of Staten Island didn't know his debit card information wasn't up to date until he got hit with more than a mortgage payment's worth of violations at the Hugh Carey Tunnel. Another dilemma, drivers don't know when their account has a low balance because those convenient indicators are gone with these new gantries. Tom wrote to Easy Pass asking for forgiveness and got his bill reduced, but... And it's probably hundreds of people that just wrote the check because they get intimidated. The letter from the MTA threatens if the fees go unpaid, your account could be sent to collection or your registration suspended. But why are the fines so high? A spokesperson told me it's to tackle chronic toll evaders, keeping drivers accountable. A local assemblywoman has gotten so many complaints about cashless tolling, she's asking the state to put the brakes on the violations. Forgive some of these uh, fines and fees that it really should not be on there, and then start properly with a clean billing cycle. Is the state admitting that mistakes were made here? They're admitting that they could have done a better job in informing the public the ways that you get notified about your low balance and the different ways that you can keep your accounts current and not get fined. Since then, the MTA contacted customers urging them to sign up for Easy Pass mobile alerts. Not good enough for drivers like Riley and Kenny, who say they can't be sure they won't be unfairly fined again. Frankly, whoever's in charge has really dropped the ball. So if you're an Easy Pass customer, you should be checking your account regularly and also make sure your information is all up to date, especially your credit card information. You also want to make sure your correct license plate number has been registered. To dispute a violation, you can call Easy Pass or write a letter as Tom did. For more information on all of this, we've posted a link on CBSNewYork.com. Maurice and Christine. Thank you, Jessica.